am Lord down on my knees Pleading for my people Here I am Lord once again I'm praying for those young ones Brokenness and hopelessness and Striking down our families Bitterness and restlessness and Driving all that was be So much pain behind those walls. So much ache in their hearts. Please, my Lord, help our young ones. Lord, we need you. Lord, I beg you. Come and help our women. Lord, I love you. Lord, I beg you. Come and heal our young men. Cry out for you, Lord. Yes, my heart and my soul. Cry out for you, O oh Lord. I come to thee, Lord, for I am thine. At thy feet here I am. Hear my plea, Lord. Hear my cry. Consider my loneliness Our children are crying out Crying out of despair Our elders are crying for Crying for thy You have to be foolishly living in complete delusion to believe that there is nothing wrong with a sip of beer or a toke of weed. Hey, that's like a fish who'd say nothing wrong playing around and trying to swim across a fishing net. Fishing net. Friends, drugs and alcohol are like a fishing net unto us mankind. Hey, this inoffensive sip of beer and or that toke of weed that you take pleasure in today will someday surely do you and the day that you're gonna say it's okay now I have enough now it's that very day that you'll realize how that you are now trapped in that fishing net of addiction and as you'll begin to struggle fighting your way out you'll end up suffocating the more and more like a fish caught in a net suffocates the more and more as it entangles itself the more and more when trying to fight its way out that net it got caught in. Now tell me, what is the hope a fish caught in a fishing net has to make it out that fishing net alive? Hey, the only hope left is less than none. Friend, no wonder that the devil restlessly works overtime setting nets all around us. And what a mess, and a what a loss, my friend. Friend, how many loved ones have we lost over that first sip of beer or that first toke of weed that somebody had that last day that they got off their bed. December 2019, we once again, us of Great World River Baptist Church, sat together to evaluate the lust and the cost among us. Another survey we took on the dreadful consequence of drugs and alcohol use among us. A counting only them that we know for sure that left us as a victim of alcohol or drug use 
whether frozen to death, passed out, whether murdered, suicide, crash, accident, overdose. Hey, we came up with a list of 58 names, friend. 58 souls within a period of about 15 to 20 years, we counted. Men and women and boys and girls, people we all knew, but that aren't walking with us any longer today. A victim of alcohol and our drugs. And we could probably easily had half of a dozen of those ever since 2019 unto this day today, 2021. Imagine now, friend. Hey, this is just in our community here. Hey, imagine if we'd gather all of our loved ones that we've lost over the years. All of our passed on loved ones from all over James Bay, Hewitsky, and Nunavik. Hey, you take all the ones that we've lost over drugs and alcohol up north in the past 15, 20 years. And you bring them all in one cemetery. And friend, you'd get something that would look like this. Man, we'd get something like a war cemetery. You know what that tells us? You know what that tells you and me? That there is a war out there. There is a sure war. And can I say to you that the victims of that war is not the devil for now anyways. Folks, people can say whatever that they want about all that. It won't change facts. Hey, there is a war. There is a spiritual war out there. The devil and his herd of demons against the kingdom of God and all that associate with him, God. And since we mankind are the focus of God's wondrous love, then of course that the devil's his only ambition is to destroy us. Hey, the thief commit but to steal and to destroy and one of his tool number one that he's got in his toolbox to achieve his goal is the fishing net. Folks, the devil knows that we just cannot disentangle ourselves from a fishing net that we get caught in. Friend, the only hope a fish has to make it out alive after being caught and entangled in a fishing net is not found in a greater fish than itself intervention. It is not found in a bunch of other fishes, friends to him that would come and help him, but in a human being intervention. And so it is for us here. The devil knows that our only hope for when it comes to us human beings, our only hope to make it out and alive once caught in a net, it's a supernatural intervention. And friend, just in case that you're one of them that sees himself above addiction or thinking that you'll find help in mere human being around us who are just as vulnerable as you can be, by the way, or thinking that you are strong and mighty enough and so that you'll manage somehow to come out that net on your home that you'll need just a little bit more time and that will be it. Well, just know that the devil has planned it all. Hey, he's got a net for every kind of fish, my friend. Hey, it doesn't matter how smart and it doesn't matter how strong you might be. Friend, I'm telling you, look around you. Hey, it doesn't matter what kind of program you'll be attending. And hey, go take a walk at the cemetery of your community. 
you really think that you are greater or more mightier than they were? Yeah, and you really believe that what did not work for them will work for you? Folks, I'm telling you, it does not matter how great or small, doesn't matter how strong and mighty one can be. No, it doesn't matter for the power of addiction is mightier than all. Friend, even the strongest warriors perished in death. Hey, the devil has nets that can keep and tangle, my friend, the mightiest fish that you can find on earth. Friend, I remember those days I was one of them, caught and big time I was, and tangled in that fishing net of addiction, lost and undone, suffocating to death yet. How did I thought that I was going to make it out somehow on my own? Yeah, I saw myself bigger and stronger than the power of addiction and those things that were afflicting me. But hope that I now thank God so much today, my friend, that I came to recognize I was just not able to get out of there on my own. Yeah, I thank Him that I got to acknowledge that He was all I needed to make it out of life. I thank Him that He brought me on my knees and to call upon His name. Give me to put my trust in Him and in Him alone, by the way. Hey, right there on my dead bed, folks, didn't need to go through a ritual, didn't need an incantation be prayed over me, no need of religious system, hey, no need of human intervention. Hey, Jesus was good enough and willing enough and able enough, and he's done it. He took me out of my affliction and he did set me free from my addiction, breathed life back into my nostril, abounded my wants, restored me into the living waters, and sitting in front of me a brand new start, yeah, a brand new life with a brand new future. Friend, listen to me, I beg you. Hey, if it wasn't that this big boy of mine used to be, if it wasn't of that day I called upon the name of Jesus, then I too for sure would have certainly end up like many of our dear friends, suffocated to death. Yeah, and I for sure too would have my own cross in that warm cemetery. cemetery. to come. 